Today I'm going to create a poster using Affinity Publisher. So you can download this poster, link is in the description, you can download this Affinity Publisher file and play with it around. Ok, let's start. First, new document. We need to set up size, I will pick up letter size. Just one page, this is poster, that's one page is enough and now I need to set up margins and bleeds as well. Okay, a little bit too big for me. I will set up small margins. And here bleeds, you need to confirm size of your bleeds with your printing shop. I will put 0.25 inch for now on. Okay, here's my new document. I can see blitz here and margins inside the document. This is page one. We're going to work on it with one page so we don't need to worry about master page in this document. Let's start with rectangle tool. I will simply use it to create a background for my poster. So this is my rectangle tool. And now I can change the fill color. Okay, I'm going to use gradient, change color from solid to gradient and now I can drag it from one corner to another. After that we can still adjust colors over here. Let's add a little bit noise here to get some texture. I want this one to be more blue. Okay, add some blue. Okay, I think this will do. So, my rectangle is my background now. I'm going to add artistic text. So this is for headlines, for one-liners. Party, I can scale this up just using move tool. We can adjust the color. I will change blending mode to overlay. And I will use darker color for this one. We can change the font. In addition, I will add stroke color. So not only fill color, but also stroke around the text. I want it to be outside the text, so set up it like this. It's outside the main shape. Okay, here's my main text in the middle of my poster. Now I'm going to hold option key and drag it down to duplicate. So just hold option key, you will duplicate the element you are dragging with your mouse. I just kick off the fill color and I'm going to reduce opacity of the whole element to 75. One more copy here, just dragging with option key. Reduce opacity once more. Okay. I'm going to group this. I'm using shortcut, comment or control G. So I group three layers together. And this is my rectangle filled with gradient. I'm going to move to photo persona now because I want to add some stock photo from this panel on the right side. Here we can search for free stock photos. Maybe this one, I just need to drag and drop this one. We got information from the author of the photo. Okay, this is really big one, I need to scale it down. So I will zoom out using command minus or control minus shortcut. Now I can scale it down and I can zoom in to fill the artboard on my screen with command zero or control zero like this. Okay, I position this stock photo on my artboard. This is new layer as you can see. Now I'm changing the blending mode. 
I will go with screen so the brighter colors will pop up and the darker color will disappear. I will add mask to it. So this is masking layer under the photo. As you may know, now we need to use brush. Whatever I paint with black brush on the mask will disappear. Everything paint with white color on the mask will appear. So now everything is in white. I can use this black brush to hide some element like this. So this is hidden. I can repaint this with white and it's appear again. So it's much better than erase it too because you can hide and then if you change your decision you can still use white brush to show it again. Okay, now I'm using very soft black brush to erase edges, to hide edges of this photo. Okay, now it's blending much better. Mask is the great way for, to undistractive way to er erase part of your photo. Actually, you are not erasing, you're just hiding it under the mask. Okay, we got main photo, we got our background, we got the main text. It's time for additional elements like this triangle. So I just use triangle tool, flip it up, position in the corner and actually I need to stretch this background to fill the bleed area. Okay, your background should fill the bleed area so in printing shop they can cut out the bleeds after they finish printing to avoid the white area around your poster. So this is this extra area that they will cut out after they finish printing your poster. Okay, let's flip it like this. For the bigger triangle I will reduce opacity and I will add some blur on it. So I can go here for layer effects or I can go up there and pick layer and I can see layer effects down here. The same thing. We will open this panel when we can add blur to the layer. Okay. I'm going to add mask to this group with the text. As you may remember, white color in the mask, uncover and black color will hide elements. I'm going to use gradient to fill this mask, not brush this time. Let's give it a go, take a look. I'm using gradient tool inside this mask. I need darker color as, as you can see here the black part of the gradient is hiding my design and everything in between white point and black point got this opacity reduction so it's like fading away it's what I want here okay like this I will use text tool typing tool again I will put some fake date on this poster. Okay, I'm going to use this corner as the holder for this date. Like this will be perfect. Stretch this up. Okay. Move the lady to the right so it's more balanced. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay, let's work on the bottom of this poster. So I'm going to do a shape. I need some background for my text. Change the 
blending mode to overlay. Might be like this. And now I'm going to use different text tools, frame text tools, so I can just draw a frame, draw a box that I will fill with text. For now I don't have the text, so I will just use text and then I can pick this option over here, insert filler text, famous lorem ipsum, here it is. Okay, so this is just filler text, I can put it in, format everything nicely and then after I receive the final text from my client or whatever, I can replace that. Oh, this shape is at the top. We need to organize our layers now. We got many elements, so we need to organize everything. Okay, let's move it down. This is element of the background, this one as well. I can select all with shift and then I can group it. This is my group or the background. So double click on it and you can type your name. Now I'm going to lock my background so I cannot select any element from the background now by mistake. Okay, this is the layer with photo, drag here, double click to rename and text element, we can group them together as well. Okay, so let's back to our text layer Okay, so we got some placeholder for text at the bottom of the poster, we can fill it later with the correct text. Now I'm going to move to the designer persona, the blue icon, it's the one that you use to modify or create new shapes. So I'm going to use corner tool to round this corner and also the one on the triangle. This is in designer persona corner tool. Okay, we almost finished. Just some little details now. I'm going to use this triangle with rounded corner as the decoration element. So I'm going to copy that. Let's rotate this element and we'll place it on this side to keep some balance. Drag it here on the layer panel below that. Now we can change color and more important is to change the opacity and blending mode, so it's not that strong. Some blur first, so we're using layer effects again. We got blur on this layer. And now I'm going to change blending mode to overlay. And here is our decorative element.
one more. So I duplicate this layer, scale it down. Okay, that's it. Let's take a look on the layer panels. What do we have in this project? There's backdrop, photo and text group. I can hide or unhide by using this checkbox thing, the visibility checkbox. So this is my background. This is my photo and my text over here. Okay, as I mentioned, you can download this Affinity Publisher file, link is in the description. Hope you learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next tutorial.